God is using this coronavirus pandemic to speak. We talked about how he speaks to the world through it in previous videos. Now I'm going to talk to you about how he speaks to the church. Today, the first time we know about in history where the majority of churches throughout the known world are closed and people are told to stay home. People are implored, begged to stay home to stop the spread of this deadly virus. Why would God do this? Why would God allow or call people to stay home from church? Several years ago, I used to work with a gentleman and he wasn't a church guy at all. He was barely a believer, barely a believer, very worldly. I mean, if there's anybody on his way to hell, you might think this guy would be on his way to hell, okay? But he came up to me once and he said, you know, I was speaking to so-and-so and this guy was talking about my church, my church, my church. And he said, you know, it's not his church. It's God's church. And I thought, isn't that a revelation that most people, most people who go to church don't even realize? And this is the thing. People, they go to church and they look at it like, well, this is my church. You know, your church is over there. My church is over here. The real true church is God's church. If it's your church, you better go to a different church. You better opt out of that membership and opt in to the membership of the real, true church. God's church. People have idolized their church, their denomination, their faction, their sect of Christianity. They've idolized Protestantism, even Catholicism, even Orthodoxy. They've idolized certain parts. They've idolized certain preachers, certain pastors, certain evangelists. And there's even people who idolize televangelists. We have got to stop idolizing. We have got to stop with our little churchianity social group, which really isn't anything that you see in the Bible. I mean, seriously. We have got to stop with the little religious social groups. We've got to get serious with God, really serious with God. You see, a lot of people, they go to church and that makes them feel good. They're all built up. They're, they all feel like they've been, you know, uh, exhorted in the Lord. And, you know, they all feel like they've been, uh, you know, their ears tickled. They, they feel like they've been encouraged in the Lord. But we have got to get our encouragement directly from God directly from the scripture. We have got to read the Bible ourselves. We have got to seek out the truth ourselves. We have got to put away the idols of churchianity and different denominations and different churches. Like my church is better than your church or whatever the case is. I mean, there are people, if you go to their church and you leave their church, they won't talk to you again. It's like, is that really the way church supposed to be? I mean, seriously, there are a lot of people. If you attend their church and then you walk out and I mean, you could walk out of that church and never attend their church again. And your relationship with the Lord can be soaring, soaring high. You, you could be, you know, in wonderful place with the Lord. And they would not talk to you because they, because you left their little social group. Listen, put away the vain social groups. Put away the idols. It's time now, since you're home, to get into the word yourself. Read the Bible every day. Seek the scriptures. Seek the truth in the scriptures. Think for yourself. Meditate upon the word of God for yourself. Take the time 
to process it in your mind and be wise enough to apply it in your life. As I have been known to say in many of my videos, see God with all your heart. And if you do, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Do it tonight.